Hello children. Good morning. Today in English grammar, we will do degrees of comparison. Before I start children, I want you to be ready with a pen and paper to make note of the important points which I will tell you. Children, you have studied parts of speech, phrases, clauses, and today we are going to study an interesting more interesting and the most interesting grammar chapter that is degrees of comparison let's start with the word comparison the word comparison comes from the verb to compare to compare means to measure something against something else so degrees of comparison are used when we compare one person or one thing with another degrees of comparison are applicable only to adjectives and adverbs nouns and verbs do not have degrees of comparisons we spent a lot of time making comparisons and to do this we use adjectives and adverbs now what is an adjective if i say i have a red car now where is adjective red yes because it describes the car then what is an adverb if i give a sentence she spoke softly so what is adverb here softly because it talks more about the verb to speak how did she speak she spoke softly so softly is an adverb okay now that we have understood what is adjective and adverb let us go ahead with comparison let us study degrees of comparison in english grammar there are technical terms for the three levels of comparison of adjective and adverbs the basic level is positive and the next is comparative and the final level is superlative here they are the three degrees of comparison positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree here can you see the picture in front of you what do you see which word is written big okay it tells about the positive degree bigger comparative and biggest superlative let's see the comparison of adjectives so positive degree big comparative bigger than and superlative the biggest small smaller than the smallest beautiful more beautiful than the most beautiful just like adjectives we have adverbs angrily in the positive degree calmly fast all these are adverbs so what will be the comparative degree more angrily more calmly faster superlative degree most angrily most calmly fastest okay adjectives and adverbs of comparison come in definite groups and not as individual words let's see the example children positive as long as comparative longer than superlative the longest now you will find that long is having only one syllable 
one sound long okay so it takes er to make comparator and est for superlative degree next we have as tall as so what is the rule children comparative will be taller taller than and superlative the tallest so what have we done we have added er to the word tall as happy as happier than and the happiest so when the positive ends with y the y changes to i happier and the happiest next as beautiful as why more beautiful and most beautiful because beautiful has three syllable beautiful same way difficult has three syllable d f c u l t okay so same way comparative will be more difficult than and superlative will be the most difficult there are some adjectives that do not form the comparative and superlatives from their positives they have irregular degrees of comparison examples are given here in the positive as good as comparative it becomes better than and superlative the best as well as comparative better than and superlative the best as many as positive degree more than comparative and the most in the superlative degree as much as becomes more than superlative the most positive as bad as becomes worse than and superlative the worst let's review the rules children so what do we find adjectives with one syllable we add er to make comparative and est for superlative okay so here the word old becomes older than big bigger than cheap cheaper than now the word big here it ends in vowel plus consonant so we double the letter ending consonant so it becomes bigger okay the second rule adjective that ends in y y is dropped and i is added i e r so friendly becomes friendlier than busy busier than easy easier than adjective is two or more syllables use more that is polite it's two syllable beautiful three syllable important three syllable so here all these positives takes more for comparative so it becomes more polite than more beautiful than and more important than then we have irregular forms you have to remember children so the word adjective good becomes better than in comparative bad becomes worse than and far farther or further than last rule less than so if the positive is quite we can write less quite than crowded less crowded than so what do we find when we speak about only one person or thing we use the positive degree examples this house is big in the sentence only one noun that is the house is talked about he is a tall student this flower is beautiful he is an intelligent boy so what do we find each sentence 
mentioned above talks about only one noun comparative degree denotes the existence of a higher degree of the quality than the positive it is used when two things or two sets of things are compared example this building is taller than any other building apple is sweeter than pear meena is nicer than most other girls in class comparative degree when we compare two persons or two things with each other we use both the positive degree and comparative degree now here see the example this house is bigger than that one it is comparative degree now if you have to make positive degree of this you know that big is a positive degree so, but you don't have to change the meaning so what do you do you have to write not okay so this house is not as big as that one the term bigger is comparative version of the term big both these sentences convey the same meaning next you have superlative degree the superlative degree compares more than two things to show which has the least or greatest degree of the quality for adjective brightest okay bright brighter brightest and for adverbs brightly more brightly and most brightly in general the superlative form of an adjective or adverb can be formed by adding the suffix est if the word has one syllable example tall tallest okay it is tall is one syllable so tall taller tallest tallest is superlative preceding with most or least if the word has more than one syllable so the word which has more than one syllable it will take most more for comparative and most for superlative superlatives are used to compare more than two things when comparing just two things you must use a comparative for example the mercedes is the fastest car in the race so fastest is the superlative of fast the mercedes is being compared against more than one other car the mercedes is faster than the mclaren this year so here faster is comparative of fast so that means the mercedes is compared against one other car so when there are only comparison between two things you write comparative and when you have more than one comparison of things that means it is superlative children i hope you have understood the three degrees of comparison that is positive comparative and superlative at the end of this video there will be a link you have to click on the link and submit your answers